Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my red Christmas nails and my first Christmas video of 2024 and everything you need is going to be linked down below and I cannot tell you how excited I am for this video. These moulds were sent to me recently by Into Resin. You would have seen them when I did the unboxing and I made the little um, Jesmonite ghosts with the dogs these came at the same time and I've been itching. I knew this was going to be my first Christmas video of 2024 because they are stunning snowflake moulds. The difficulty being here that there were thousands of options. Thousands. I knew I wanted something crystal clear and sparkly to match my own tree, my own aesthetic. And this is what I'm going with. I'm going with some silver diamonds that were sent to me by Yvonne over at Resin Supplies Den. We are using the Let's Resin Epoxy Resin, which is stunningly crystal clear in itself, and that is going to bring these to life. Now, first up, PPE. If you are new to my channel, I very much advise you wear PPE when you are using epoxy resin. That is not only gloves, but also a respirator as well. Now, if you were with me back in August, Let's Resin sent me a bubble remover machine. This was not actually available on the market until the September, like late September. And I never really got around to doing my review video, but you guys would have seen I was using it a lot back in August to get rid of bubbles. It is a beautiful, large cloche design of a bubble removing machine. Like the actual lid is a giant glass dome and guys, it takes huge cups. I was trying to show you on this cup just how much you can fit, but this is a 850 mil mixing cup from Let's Resin. It goes in there real happy and it's not even touching the tops. So this really does have the capacity for a lot more resin. This is the cup I'm going to be using in today's video. Now, I did mix up my Let's Resin resin as per instructions, but I mixed it in the smaller 250 cup. Now, you can't put that much resin in a cup in there. You know, it's gonna flow over the top if I put that cup in because it was full up and you definitely do not wanna do that. So I am pouring all of that resin into the larger cup and it will work a dream. The one thing to note is this bubble removing machine does come with a two pin plug, which is something we don't have here in the UK. So I have got myself a travel adapter and I will link that down below on Amazon. And guys, I actually set the machine because this was a lot of resin. This was 240 mil of resin. I set the machine to 10 minutes, but it didn't need 10. This was in six minutes. Of course, I've sped it up for you guys because you don't want to sit through real time. Six minutes and it pretty much cleared out every single remaining air bubble. Now, the, another good thing about this machine is it has an auto shut off function. So as soon as your timer is up, it will just automatically come back to normal. You'll see the, the cup sink down and you just have to wait until the suction noise is gone before you can lift the lid. Be careful lifting the lid so that you don't knock your cup. That is one thing I will say. And then it was time to get to pour in. You will not believe, honestly, the results of these took my breath away. They took my breath away. Now, these diamonds, like I said, they were sent to me by Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den. I'm really using them for the reflective, shimmery, sparkly nature. You, If you don't have these, you could use maybe some crushed mirror glass or some sparkle glitter, white glitter, mixed in with a bit of silver. Mm, that would be gorgeous as well. So first up, we're going for this mold. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do have a favorite out of these two, and it is this one. This, to me, is right up my street. The stars, the diamonds on the edges, it's very much more Christmassy to me. Um, they are both, oh, they're both equally stunning and the results are both equally stunning. I started off by putting the clear in the middle and I'm putting the diamonds on the edge, but please know any colors you choose, navy, blue, green, gold, black and gold, pure red, pure red glitter, like literally <laughs> the options available on this, it's just, I think that's the hardest thing. 
Like when you go into a restaurant and the menu's too big. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're there for ages, really, really struggling to make a decision. That is me when it comes to making a decision on the colours I wanted to use with this. So I really just thought about how I'm decorating my tree and how I'm decorating my home this year. What would really, really work for me? And this, oh guys, it is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, this is the second mould they sent me. This was an interesting shape for me. I'm not used to these kind of, what would you even describe it as? Balls? Like teeny tiny miniature beads. Beads. We'll go with beads. Um, I decided to put the diamonds around the edge and in the centre of this one because, again, I knew that whatever way around I did it, they would come out. They would just come out gorgeous because of the colourways I'm using. And I knew that these diamonds and clear together would be stunning. Now, this is where the bubble removing machine comes into its own. Look how clear this resin is. I mean, if you're doing clear resin, this is when I think you really, really need the bubble removing machine. You can, you can use it anyway, but if you're adding things back in to the resin, you're just adding more air back in. So... This is a pure, fine example of when and why you would need a bubble remover machine. But guys, look at this. I was just in heaven. I was really intrigued by the way the resin sat in this mold. Um, but yeah, 24 hours later, and honestly, this took my breath away. We are going to get some close-ups. Don't worry. We are going full-on David Attenborough close-ups in a little while, and you will see every fine detail. But this mold for me was everything this was Harrods this was Tiffany's this was everything to me it screams Christmas I can imagine this hanging on a beaded garland over a fireplace because you guys know I've got a fireplace this year and this is where this is going stunning Stunning. Again, I am going to give you some more detailed close-ups in a, in a short while, but the resin itself, crystal clear, those diamonds, stunning. The actual mould is simply exquisite. There's a big word for me, guys. Exquisite. Again, this one here, the faceted edges were like unbelievable. Again, we're going to get some close-ups, but each and every one of these beads or petals, if you like, are faceted to, to a crazy level. Each and every one of them has like 10 diamond cut faceted edges. It is just simply stunning. Some of that diamond glitter has got a dust on it, so you can just see there's like specks of that dust that have risen up and floated in the surface beautiful absolutely beautiful you see these faceted diamond cut stop it now i mean if that is not christmas is that just christmas it's the most christmasy christmasy winter icy winter wonderland beautiful combination of the clear and again, if you don't have the diamonds, guys, you can use silver glitter, white glitters, anything that sparkles. Literally anything that sparkles. Here we have some close-ups now. I'll be honest, my camera was struggling. My, my phone camera was like, whoa, what am I trying to focus on? Because the reflection, the actual reflection and the shine was too much for my little Samsung phone. But I hope you can get where I'm coming from with my excitement for the sheer beauty of these moulds. They are simply stunning. But this one, oh, this to me also screams New Year's Eve party. That glitz, the glam, the stunning, oh, everything about it. I love, love, love. I'm so, so excited to have my red nails back. And I'm so excited for the Christmas season that is about to come. I hope you enjoy each and every one of my videos. And yeah, look at these. I mean, the details for the moulds will be down below. Equally, the details for the bubble removing machine and Let's Resin. If you are new here, my description box is absolutely packed to the brim 
to the brim with discount codes. I'm, I'm affiliated with some companies. I am not affiliated with a lot of companies. They send me product. I don't get paid, all of that. But yes, I am a Let's Resin affiliate. So go check out Let's Resin's resin. And I will also leave the details for um, Resin Supplies Den for Yvonne if you want to get hold of some of this diamond crush glitter. But again, anything will work. If you are still here and you are still here at the end, thank you so, so much for still being here. Let me know in the comment section what your go-to colour schemes are for Christmas. I stick to the same thing year in, year out, year in, year out, combination of everything. I don't chat, I don't have the kind of money. <laughs> I don't have the money to be changing my themes every year. But let me know what you do in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. And if not yet subscribed, please hit that button. Why am I so rubbish at asking you to do that? Please subscribe. I will love you forever. Bye.